Hey there, everyone. Uh, we got some breaking news here. And let me just say it like this. After reading all of this stuff on ESPN.com and doing my research, holy shit. That's all I got to say on this. I mean, talk about a bombshell here. And I mean, it finally happened because we've been waiting all summer. For this to happen. Damian Lillard. Where was he going to go? I mean you wanted some freaking drama. You got drama. And I'm going to try to make sense of this. Here in this video. Um, what just happened. So I have all of. The names that were traded. But obviously. Let me just talk about the Miami Heat for a moment. They messed up big time. Pat Riley messed up big time. There's no other way to say it. I mean, Damian Lillard wanted to come to Miami. And Miami, for whatever reason, thought there was no other possible option. And they never pulled out their best offer for Damian Lillard. But... Friggin' Milwaukee, your direct competition in the Eastern Conference, pulled out that best offer on the table. Yo, this is a friggin' rough look for the Heat, man. I mean, Damian Lillard, he tried to call the Blazers bluff. And I'll say this too, it blew up in his face. And this is an, another organization. The Miami Heat. They, another resume where they wanted to bring in a star in. And they just couldn't. And you look at the Miami Heat for a moment. They lost Gabe Vincent this summer. So the best way was to pair Damian Lillard with Kyle Laudry. Now, that's not going to happen. But let me talk about this trade here. Um, I got to say this about the Milwaukee Bucks. They easily they won this trade. Because Giannis was putting a lot of pressure on the Milwaukee Bucks. I, I know from what I was reading that if this was a team that was not a championship contender team, that he was going to walk out on the Bucks in free agency. And the Milwaukee Bucks, it tells me about them that they weren't thrilled about the potential of paying Drew Holiday uh, when it comes to a next contract extension. So they said, hey, you know what? Let's cash him in. Let's trade him to another team. Um, I don't give a crap who they gave up. But when you bring in Damian Lillard... Who's going to play next to Giannis. And given the fact that. Drew Holiday. Um, was a big bust. In the postseason. I got to say. This was a better upgrade here. This was definitely an upgrade for the Bucks. Now. Drew Holiday was a defensive player as well. And I know they're going to lose. Somebody. On the defensive side of the ball. But hey. You still got a Brooke Lopez. You still got Chris Middleton. You still got Giannis. I, I mean, it's not bad for the uh for the box. They got something better out of this move. Now, the Trailblazers. Now, I know the Trailblazers added um aside from uh Drew Holiday, they get uh DeAndre Iton, they get a first round pick. Um in the 2029 uh, NBA draft, which wherever Milwaukee lands on that, they're gonna get their, they're gonna get Milwaukee's pick, um, and then they're gonna get uh, the pick swaps, uh, 2028 and 2030, um, whatever Milwaukee was gonna do with that. Now, 
But Landon Drew Holiday and the Andre Iton, by the way, who signed long term, it's not a bad return. I mean, it's better than what the Heat was going to offer. Now, the way that I see it, because this is a team that's going to rebuild, I want to see where they are come trade deadline. If this team is not a contender, then I could see them flipping Drew Holiday. But if they are going to be a contender in the playoffs, I, I do see them keep Drew Holiday. But... At least for now, you got a young center to pair with young perimeter players. Now, the Phoenix Suns, they got um, Joseph Nukit, uh, Grayson Allen, Nassia Little, and uh, Keenan Johnson. Um, This is a move that confuses me here. Because why did you trade DeAndre Ayton? And apologies for that, but as I was saying, why did you trade um for New Kid? I mean, maybe it was because they needed some additional wing depth. I mean, I don't know. But New Kids, his rim protection, um, it doesn't really make up for the fact that, you know, he can't play in space. I mean, he, he's a slow player. And what good is rim protection if you can't stay on the floor? Maybe he's better as a PR. And given the fact that the Suns, their cap sheet is so outrageous. So, they basically turned one guy into a couple of cheaper contracts. Now, in that sense, it makes sense. But, come on. for To get new kit, I didn't like that. But all I gotta say is, whew, watch out for the Bucks. Because I truly feel that the Bucks are really going to be the big threat to the Celtics this year. This is not going to be a team that's going to get eliminated by an 8 seed. Like what we saw this past season. Oh, no, 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 no. They may have lost to Miami in the first round. But they got their revenge. Because they got the player that Miami wanted to get. That's just my thoughts on this. So uh, let me all know in the comment section what you think about this trade. Um, until then, this is your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah. I do apologize. Um, like I said, I had to do something quick. So, um, and yeah, I'm just hearing right now um, that Philly wants to get Drew Holiday. So maybe down the road, Drew Holiday will be a Philadelphia 76er. We'll see what happens with that. Till then, it's your Mad Dog Messiah. I'm out. Peace.